Welcome to Catching Puzzle Pieces. Yes, I am emphasizing it. Catching, really understanding, comprehending bits of wisdom. I know it's been a few days. It's been a, it's been it's been a little while, right? Since I posted a video. Uh, Father God is so awesome. Father God is so awesome. Father God is so awesome. The Holy Spirit is so awesome. Our Lord Jesus is so awesome. Yeah. All right, let's see this. All right, y'all, so let's see. It's been a little while. Hmm. Hold on. Father God, help me get direct to the point and do this. Your will, your way, Lord. All right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Father God. All right, you all, so let me orient myself and gather my thoughts. Give me a second. Uh, so the kids started school again, right? So we had this incident that happened with my with Naomi, my princess. I uh, went to school, she forgot her lunch bag in one of her previous periods, right? Now she's in middle school. She's never been in middle school, she, so she's learning to see how it works, right? This was her second day of school. So she goes, she does, yeah, so she does the right thing. She notices, she, she lets her teacher know, right? And after a while, her teacher let her go, go get her stuff. She came back, and then once she came back, the teacher, she decides to shame her, to to make her feel bad. She uses her as an example. Instead of using the situation as an example, she uses my daughter as an example, a child who doesn't understand all of the stuff that us as adults understand. Even us as adults don't understand a lot of this stuff, right? But when you are in authority and you have people under you, you're not supposed to abuse your authority. Especially if you already know about that. If you don't know, understandable. But if you've done it before and someone already got to you, got on to you about it and you keep doing it, that's, that's when, when it becomes, it becomes abuse. Alright? I didn't understand that before. So so she shames my daughter, she makes her feel bad. She because she took too long and then and then she tries to make her feel well she doesn't try, she did it. She made her feel bad. She's like, now we have to do this and now you have to go do that and this and that. So I decided, I was like, okay, so I'm gonna talk to her, to that teacher. I couldn't find the email, otherwise I would've emailed her myself. So I emailed the school counselor and I emailed the assistant principal of their school. And here's the email, I'm gonna read it to you. Because this is what has been happening to me all of my life. People, all these people in my family, everywhere, scapegoated me, uses me as a scapegoat because we have these mind issues, ADHD, possibly dyslexia, I don't know, even some of the autistic stuff uh, resonates with me when I've researched the videos, right? Um, only you know how you feel, what is going on with your body temple, with your mind. No one can come and tell you this, this, and that. No, you feel like this. No, you... Nah. I don't allow people to do that to me no more. You know, I'm teaching my children not to allow people to do that to them. And I'm not allowing myself to do that to my children. But let's read, let's, let's check this out. I wanted to share this with you all because this is, this is our job. This is what we are supposed to do as parents. We're supposed, we're supposed to, to steward our children as leaders. We're supposed to lead our children. They're not our slaves. They're not supposed to be perfect. They're babies. They're, we human beings are developing all the way up until, with women, I believe it's to the age of 18. If I'm correct, right? Give or take around there. For males, our frontal lobe, if I'm correct about that, uh, 
Do your research. Don't go by my words. We don't finish developing until about 25 or something like that. Uh, but let's get to the point. I'm just going to go ahead and read it. That way I don't make this extremely long. This is Miguel de Anda, Naomi and Bella de Anda's father. I am emailing you because I was wondering how the school goes about checking children for ADHD and dyslexia or oversensitivity to loud noises or loud people because that is that is how I am anything too loud and I'm not saying y'all have to be all quiet that's not what I mean because this is something that I have to deal with right because if you're just being loud and you're being yourself and that that's cool right there's not no issue with that uh, the issue becomes whenever you, you try to scapegoat me uh, or you try to or you're doing it to mess with me all right that's whenever it becomes toxic. I guess people think I'm weak because I'm chill, quiet, you know? I don't feel the need to mess with anyone. But let's go back to this. My oldest son showed that he has dyslexia. I was never tested when I went through the Irving High School di uh, system. As an adult, I now flip my numbers without noticing. So instead of writing down labels, I have adjusted to printing labels at my job. Yep, because at my job, the last since I've been working here, I've been scapegoated. You know, I'm giving y'all my thousand percent. I know my thousand percent ain't is not gonna get to that perfection level like all these people around me, right? Uh, but it's my thousand percent. I'm not lazy like that person over there who's just dragging. That's not me. You know? This is if I mess up, it's not intentional. It's because of my mind, because of this whatever the is going on with my mind. Right? Uh Let's continue. I want us to give Naomi and Bella all the support we can give them. The second day of school, Naomi forgot her lunch bag. One of her in one of her classes once she noticed she forgot it she asked her teacher if she could go and retrieve it the teacher allowed her to go my princess went to get her bag she eventually found it came back to class later than the teacher expected her to this teacher allows herself to shame my daughter for forgetting her lunch bag then a uh, also shames her for taking too long embarrassed her in front of the whole class this is unacceptable behavior from a leader i do not yell scream shame or hit my children to correct them i do not allow their mother to correct them in this weak toxic way either so no one has permission to correct my children in this way. Yeah, because if, if I don't do it, I don't even allow their mother to do it, then no one else has permission to correct my children. I am their father. I am, they're under my authority in Christ Jesus. Mine, no one else. I have no problem with the school correcting my children. What I have a problem with is how you go about it. The way this teacher corrected my princess is wrong. She could have easily pulled her to the side, reminded her of the rules, and used the situation as a teaching example, instead of using my innocent daughter as an example. Children are innocent, they don't know. Especially if they're like, my children are not troublemakers, they're not loud, they're not, they're chill. They're like me. She basically scapegoated my child, dumped all of her frustrations on her instead of supporting her. Like she is paid to do. Naomi ended up crying during her lunch, couldn't even eat her lunch that day, and no one was comforting her. Her second day in a new school, new environment, 
new responsibilities, more responsibilities. Be nice if y'all could give the sixth graders a little grace. Especially the ones who are not troublemakers and disrespectful to the teachers. I know my children are not like that. And I'm not saying they're perfect. They may get distracted. They get made, may get influenced by other kids. But they are not going to go and disrespect the teacher directly. Like intentionally. This is not the way to correct any child. Even the ones that are disrespectful to the teacher, right? Thank you for your time. I hope we can work together in supporting these young leaders to become good leaders and not abusive leaders who abuse their authority. Also, I will greatly appreciate it if you can address this with the teacher. I believe it was her science teacher. I could, couldn't could find her email so I could email her myself. Sincerely, Miguel A. Landa. So this is what happened, people. Familia catching puzzle pieces. We got to protect our children. If, Like this is now what I understand. A closed mouth cannot be fed, right? You have your mouth closed no matter someone are trying to give you some food. They're like, here, here. But your mouth, no one, no one can feed you, right? So if I don't stand up for my children, if I don't stand up for myself, for what I know and understand to be correct, then I'm being a coward, I'm being timid, I'm being passive, which is what I have been all my life because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know that I had dyslexia. I didn't know that I had, well, I have no proof, right? Right now at this moment, one day Father God's gonna bless me with some more moolah and I'll be able to go and, and get all the proof I got, I need. So, and now I lost my train of thought. Damn it. <laughs> oh yeah. And what has Father God given us? He has not given us a spirit of, of timidity, of cowardice. No. To Timothy 1 7. He has given us a spirit of power, of love, of a sound judgment, of a disciplined spirit, of a sound mind. These are the fruits of the spirit, of the true and living God. And this was terrifying for me to do, but I had to do it. And I did it my way, which was this way. Yeah, because my mother, she did for me what, what I did for my daughter. But she actually went and argued with the teachers and with the school. I don't remember it. I was a child whenever it happened. But she went and fought for me. But the thing where what happened with me is that she they never tested me or found out to see what was wrong with me. So what these teachers were doing to me is they were scapegoating me, dumping their frustrations onto me as a child in the fourth grade. The other one I, I was, was a bit older. Old. I was, uh, I believe my junior year. So yes, this is unacceptable. And I'm not gonna put up with this nonsense because this is why the world is messed up because of this. So there's, if you see, if you're unconscious and, and like, let's say that the teacher, she didn't know, she, she kind of did it without her being conscious of it, right? But if she could have caught herself through there and stopped herself and she continued, allowed herself to do it, then that, that is, is a abuse. sin because you know what you're doing and you still went ahead and did it. That is when it becomes a sin. If you make a mistake and you just dumped your emotions on someone because you're frustrated, okay, no big deal. But if, if this person is continually doing it to you over and over again, every other day, then there's there's something wrong right there. Your body will tell you. Your body, you'll start getting anxious. You're, you'll start getting cloudy thoughts. Uh, what I mean by that is that there's another word for it. Cognitive dissonance. Like you'll feel dysregulated, right? 
but yeah familia i just wanted to check to share this with you all uh this is something that i would never have done it still took me a while to do it about a week to finally email the email them i had to gather my thoughts and then go about it the way that i that i go about it right my own way but uh yeah so let's we have to father our children better than we were fathered that's if we want to if we want them to do better than us and i want my children to do better than me there's parents out there that don't want their children to do better than them that's uh terrible it sucks but that's that's the world that we live in but that's all comes from what fear ignorance no understanding that's where that comes from but yeah thank you all thank you for your time i have to share this i have to share this this is the kind of individual that i am y'all don't have to believe me i'm still gonna be keep being this this individual that i am i'm gonna keep on trucking i'm gonna keep on doing this what i am doing become now i know what i'm doing is i'm becoming a real man